How to debate in English. Vocabulary and phrases. Debating in English requires a strong command of the language and familiarity with key vocabulary and phrases. Here are some terms and expressions to help you effectively participate in a debate. Introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, respected panel, audience, judges, good morning, afternoon, evening. Stating your position, I stand for, against the motion, topic. I'd like to express my support, opposition for our position is that presenting arguments. First, Lee, second, Lee, third, Lee. Lastly, to begin with, in addition, furthermore, my, our first, next point is providing evidence. For example, Instance according to source expert research has shown that this is supported by data, statistics, facts, refuting arguments. On the contrary, however, I would like to counter, contest that this argument is flawed, misleading because I disagree with the statement, claim that conceding points. I concede, admit that it's true that we acknowledge, recognize that summarizing your points. In conclusion, to sum up to reiterate, recapitulating, we have demonstrated, argued, shown closing statements. Thank you for your attention. Listening, I urge the audience, judges to support, oppose this motion. I rest my case. Remember, the key to a successful debate is not only to use appropriate vocabulary and phrases, but also to present your arguments clearly, provide evidence, and listen carefully to your opponents. Engage in a respectful manner and maintain a professional tone throughout the debate. Do you have anything to add? Yes, I can provide some additional tips and phrases to help you debate effectively in English. Signposting. Use phrases to help guide your audience through your argument. Moving on to my next point, this brings me to let's now consider comparing and contrasting, highlight similarities and differences between points. Similarly, conversely, by contrast, emphasizing a point. Importantly, notably, it's essential to remember explaining causality. As a result of consequently, this leads to asking rhetorical questions. Isn't it clear that can we truly say that how can we ignore addressing counterarguments? Some may argue that critics might claim, while it has been suggested that agreeing with an opponent's point while maintaining your position, while that is a valid point, we must also consider I understand your perspective, but that may be true, however, offering a compromise or alternative. A more feasible solution would be instead of this, we propose a middle ground might be remember, effective debating involves not just vocabulary and phrases, but also critical thinking, active listening, and persuasive argumentation. Be prepared to adapt your language and approach as needed throughout the debate.